This is Tom Myers, Superintendent, Bellevue Community School District in Bellevue, Iowa, coming to you with this week's Believe in the Blue update. Welcome back from our winter break. School starts up today. It's Thursday, January 3rd. Uh, so we have two days this week, and then we move on to the weekend. And then remember the semester. And the semester is more important at the secondary level to recognize when that ends. But that ends actually next Friday, January 11th that way. Remember, we have no school on Martin Luther King Day, January 21st. We also have a Board of Education meeting on January 14th. Just a few dates to throw out there at you. Remember, we have parent-teacher conferences again coming up in the middle of March. So just kind of some things out there that way for everybody. Uh, some upcoming events I want to let people know about. Today already, we start up with a bowling meet, and that is at Makokita at Timber Lanes versus Makokita. We have a wrestling meet, and that is at North Wind, where we've, we're actually going against the defending state champion. The Lisbon Lions and Central City and North Lynn will be there as well. And then tomorrow evening, Friday, we have an array of basketball games, boys and girls at the high school level at Northeast. And then Saturday, we have a robotics meet, and that is um, uh, at, at DeWitt Central School uh, against a variety of teams in the area that way. Uh, varsity wrestling tournament at Northeast Saturday, and then we play basketball, high school basketball. Once again, we play at Tipton, and that is at their middle school. That is the gym that they use. It's at Tipton Middle School, so check that out online for the address, or just go uh, uh, somewhere and find that. I guess whatever the case may be. Monday evening, we have a wrestling meet at Starmont versus Makoka Valley and Starmont in a triangular. Uh, then Tuesday, we are at home against North Cedar in basketball, both boys and girls, starting up at about 4 o'clock. As some of you know, we had a geothermal uh, leak over uh, uh, actually um, on the early morning of December 26th, and that has put our West Gym out of use right now. It does not look like that will be in use for the rest of the school year. We have to redo the floor in there. Uh, someone was just here yesterday with insurance again, so that's what it's looking right le looking like right now. So those quads that we have will actually start up at four o'clock that way instead of the typical 4:30. And then the following week, in addition to that, the following week, that Thursday, we have a home bowling meet against Cascade, and that's at Horizon Lanes. We have wrestling at Wilton. Then next Friday, the 11th, the last day of the semester, we have basketball once again at home, and that is against Monticello that way. So that starts up at 4. So just some information for everyone to have that way of what is going on. Hope things are going well for everyone. So we just had a good winter break coming back, refreshed for the school year uh, to finish out the, this winter season strong. And into the spring we go, and time gets rolling when we get into this time of the year, in all honesty. Uh, I wanted to let some people know I, uh, I had some questions about an article that I had in the Bellevue Herald Leader. I had about five different comments from people interested in it. So uh, I'm just going to share some of those things. Just talking about how, uh, I guess the title of our article was, The Reality of the Present and Potential for the Future. And when we think about things, how things have changed, just think about your own life in the last five years or 10 years or 20 years, how things have changed that way. And uh, some things that we heard at the Iowa Association, uh, Iowa Association of School Boards meeting when we uh, presented out there in personalized learning and passion-based learning were the, were the following. You know, kids in elementary will never remember a time when they could not see a person they were talking to on a phone if they chose to. Uh, kids do not know what a dial tone is. Something very common for me growing up. That way I was on a two-party line growing up, and uh, I just remember you can always use the phone even. Uh, phones with cords are not at their homes. They're only probably in offices and hotel rooms. Text messages are the number one way for people under 40 to communicate. Uh, 54% 50, of things going on in the internet happen on social media. Our number of friends, or quote friends, has increased dramatically through social media. The number one go-to for information is Google. But to learn something, the younger generation tends to go to YouTube to watch how it is done. Uh, baby boomers write notes in cursive, uh, but some of the younger uh, students in the younger generation don't know how to read cursive. 25% uh, of, of millionaires are millennials. Facebook started with teenagers and then it traveled to parents and grandparents. And then a lot of teenagers got off and went to Instagram and Snapchat and everything else in between. Uh, and, and the final one here I'll just share now is 83% of students in classrooms today go to YouTube once a week to learn something new. We are ultimately in the midst of a generation of visual learners who typically skim textbooks for their information uh, and other informational sources. 
They're going to go somewhere, watch it. They want information quick. Our world's a fast-paced world, whether we like it or not. I was just having a conversation with someone in my office yesterday. He came in and talked about this. You know, Whether we like it or not, uh, we, we, I think we both agreed, this is the way the world is. So to kind of recognize things here, you know, and we need to do, if you look behind me there, that personalized learning thing, make it relevant to students. How do you make something relevant to students? We really have to look at that in the big picture that way. So um, anyway, we will go from there. Have a great week. Have a great day. And we will move on. Have a great one, everyone.